Hi, I'm Fran White, Senior Meter Tech here at Tesco, and we're going to do a field simulated demonstration of the CAT 1047 using a test board to simulate the customer supply. And we're going into a test box with CTs on the back and a test switch here to provide easy access for the secondary current to test the meter. Basically, what we have here is we have CTs on the back. So we're going to test this CT and I'm going to supply primary current into the CT and the secondary current, of course, goes through to the test switch here. So this will simulate what you would see out in the field. So what you will wind up doing is plugging your 1047 into the secondary here and I will clamp on the primary here and then I'll run a test. So now we're going to show how to connect the 1047 to facilitate the, the testing of the, of the CT. Um, of course now I have turned our test board off. So it needs to power down. Of course as we're out in the field, I'm going to have PPE on and all that because you don't want to be working on live circuits without personal protection. So I'm going to make these now, everything de-energized. So I'm clipping on where our primary current is. So we're supplying 25 amps, I have a double wrap, so it'll simulate 50 amps going through the CT. So th this clamp, this point will be your primary clamp, which connects to the two jacks here on the front. And then we have this, another cable, which is for the secondary current, and it comes with a Tesco test plug. So in order to test it, we want to open up, we're going to test the A transformer. So we're going to open up the A current, secondary jack and you'll see right here is a test plug and so when you open this up this thing maintains the connection so it, it, you never want to open a CT while it's live uh, when you're out in the field so this will this facilitates you able to connect connect the circuit in there without killing power and never opening the CT so then you plug this in and this will make the connection so the CT is always has continuity through the secondary circuit so now you have your primary current here and your secondary current here. And as soon as I hit power on, now we're ready to test. Okay, so now we're gonna do a live test. And I, I removed the, the, identif the plate from the CT and it basically shows you all the, the test data. It shows you the burden, the accuracy class, the turns rate, the ratio. So all that information is here. And then we're gonna turn the unit on. And it's, you press the home button, and then when the power light comes on the screen, you just leave it go, and it comes up. So it's showing we have the unit energized, and it's showing a primary amps of 50.02, and a secondary amps of 1.25. And then the, on the bottom line here, it shows the, the turns ratio, which now is about 199 to five. So it's pretty much 200 to five, which is the rating of the CT. So basically you can do that to check to make sure you have the right turns ratio and you're not getting a, 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 a something really weird on your readings there. So that looks pretty good. And now I'll just go, we've already programmed the burden to be 0.2. So it's simple to do a test. Now it's just gonna run a burden test. And all you do is press the test. And it, oh, it starts applying the burden. So here we can see the change is less than 1%. The primary amps that we start was 50.02. Primary amps during the test was 50.00, basically didn't change. The secondary amps is 1.25 at the start of the test, and it dropped down to 1.245 after the test. So the turns ratio before the test was 198.98, which is basically 199. And the turns ratio at the end of the test was 200.81. So the secondary drop made the turns ratio a little higher, but it looks like a pretty good reading. So there is a, a burden test on your uh, CT on live test.